just to firstly confirm what Danny Dorling said about landlords. I met a landlord <coughs> with about 100 properties two years ago and he said, it's never been so good in my life. I can't believe it's going to go on like this. But with all these MPs with buy to lets, you know, they're making it easier for me even though they're sort of pushing up the prices that I have to pay when I bid. Uh, first question is about the link between finance, the finance sector, the debt sector, and housing. Um, Andrew Haldane from the Bank of England two years ago told us that we couldn't tell whether the banks were solvent or not. With Financial Times, Miriam Somerset Webb saying things are at least 20% overvalued, 80% of banks' assets, finance people's assets in property overall. If that drops, we're not only going to, we're going to have a finance crisis after the election. The other thing is, I've tried to read all the reviews of Danny's book, but my copy hasn't arrived yet. I believe I agree with all your perspectives, except um, I think a lot of green people are very hesitant about building, and it seems to me that, you know, although you know, we should squat Chelsea and the equivalent, and that would help us uh, a long way to solving things, you could put two million people in sort of average size semis and terrace with back gardens on one twentieth of one percent of the land if you do the um, maths. Okay, the house price, uh, the land prices need to be reduced because you can build those dwellings for about 100,000 each, which would be about a quarter of QE uh, that we spent um, so far. So we ba ba basically, how do we work towards that? as well as the other things and you know maybe without necessarily sort of triggering a finance crisis too rapidly or too immediately in the middle of it or would that be a good thing yes. okay. uh, I thought Angel Haldean had a public talk two months ago yes. saying that the banks were still not safe and he, this is I don't know a I think he's in charge of security for banking for the Bank of England financial stability but, yes. Yes. he's in charge of financial stability yes. Um, so, you know, part of what we do is simply need to repeat the message of a senior <coughs> member of the Bank of England, which is not being said. Um, in a lot of that book, I said we don't need to build because we've got so many bedrooms that we could fit in them better. Uh, but in London and in Oxford, we obviously need to build. Where it is most expensive, we need to build. Um, probably not semis with gardens, uh, just because of the amount of um, traffic jams you get. Um, so, so high density, but I, I'm, I'm the baby building with don't they? They can't all go in multi-storey wrap the hutches in Brentford. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they, they need dirt, but they need dirt with other kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, middle class kids don't use their middle class gardens. Uh, they want to be in the wreck with other kids. Uh, but, but, we need, we need, but we only need to build where it's most acute. In general, we've got 30 million bedrooms not being slept in every night by anybody. <coughs> 30 million. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the, the essentials of uh, 